Yes. Um, so, Mike, uh, I have a couple questions for you um, because I just don't understand the difference of um, AS9100, AS9110, and AS9120. Can you let us and all know the difference between them? 9100 is mostly for, uh, I would say, uh, your OEMs or major suppliers to OEMs. It's, it's all encompassing. It's similar to uh, the ISO system, but it has some delta. And uh, if you read the manual, they were nice enough to bold all the differences, you know, <laughs> which all you have to do is take the ISO manual and just add to it. And the, 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 the big thing there is, is uh, documentation and how long you have to keep it. In the aircraft industry, you keep it forever, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and traceability, uh, uh, foreign parts uh, that are might not be made out of the materials you need to make it out of, you know, a bad, a lot of traceability there, uh, and safety, not safety of personnel, but safety of the product, you know, blades touching blades and how they they you know just simple stuff and uh, make sure that you don't incur more damage as you're uh, disassembling and assembling and repairing uh, uh, that. And uh, and then they make you look at the business, you know, uh, and do risk management, risk assessment. Now the 9120 is mostly your warehouse distributors. Uh, most of them are just passed through. Uh, a lot of them, uh, you know, it's just a phone call and they, they call the OEM, get the stuff and pass it. They, they don't even see it. They just, pass it through to the end user. But a lot of, uh, some of my clients here, they have uh, their own, if they repair stuff and they buy stuff, they repair it to make, uh, they get some DER, DAR, whoever uh, they need to make sure it's airworthy. And then they put it on a shelf and they sell it themselves. So, and so they're 9120. Now the 9110s, they're the ones that really have to uh, uh, control the production process here yeah, okay it's a uh, it's a lot about uh, a, uh, the airworthiness and and making sure that you know when you ship a part that it's going to be airworthy and, and it's not going to come back or it's not going to incur issues and they have traceability and you got to make it uh, most most people that do 9110 many of them don't really actually make or uh, a part but they do mostly uh, Inspection and test, disassembly and assembly, and uh, but they have other suppliers that do all the uh, all the different kind of testing, uh, painting, anodizing, uh, you know, cutting tools, that kind of stuff. So you have to really, you can't just get a supplier and and do like a, a paper audit over uh, over email. You really have to visit that supplier and validate his his processes or whatever he's making making for you. So that. So it um, it's really demanding the 9110. It's mostly for repair stations and people that make product. 